Thank you for joining this quick getting started video on how to prepare your organization for person accounts or B2C accounts. To follow the steps in this video, you will need system administrator privileges. There are three requirements that your org must meet prior to setting up person accounts. One, there must be at least one record type for accounts. Two, users that have read permission on accounts must have read permission on contacts. And three, Organization-wide default sharing settings is set so that contact is controlled by parent or account and contact is private. The first thing that we'll want to check is record type on accounts. To do this, go up to Object Manager, Account, Record Types, and if you don't have any record types, no. Here, we'll be creating a business record type that you can use for your B2B accounts. For the record type label, go ahead and fill in business. Do the same for record type name. Insert a description if necessary. Leave everything else as default. Scroll to the bottom and click next. Apply the record type to the necessary page layouts. Leave everything else as default and click on save. Now we can confirm that we have one business record type under the accounts object. The next requirement is that sharing settings for contacts must be set to controlled by parent or account and contact must be set to private. To check this, I will go back to home. In the quick find box, I'll type in sharing settings. Select sharing settings. And on this page, confirm that contact is set to controlled by parent. If necessary, you can edit these settings by clicking on edit. Selecting the drop down menu next to contact or account and contract. And select the necessary value. Click on save to save your changes. Next, we have to confirm if any profiles with read access to accounts also has read access to contacts. To do this, I will go into a, my quick find box and type profiles. Select profiles. Select your custom profile. Go into object settings. And here you'll be able to find all the object settings. We can confirm that next to accounts, we have read, create, edit, and delete. Down by contacts, we also have read, create, edit, and delete. Confirm that accounts and contacts on all of your custom profiles have read settings or both do not have read settings. Once all of that has been complete, the last step is to go into account settings, select account settings, select edit, and check the box that says allow customer support to enable person accounts. Select save. Confirm that the checkbox is populated. Once this is complete, you should receive an email in your system administrator email inbox with instructions on how to continue with enabling person accounts. You will need to raise the case with Salesforce support, so do keep that in mind. Thank you for joining this video on how to prepare your organization for person accounts.